Hello everyone and welcome back to Manatee Local. I hope everyone has had a good Thanksgiving and a safe holiday. I know that there have been some accidents out there recently. Um, uh, there was a motorcyclist that lost their life recently. Um, the person was 18. Condolences to their family. They live out in Parish. Saw that on um, one of the Parish pages and on Facebook. Uh, and also there was a terrible accident involving the Florida beach horses and one of the horses died. Uh, people were injured and several other horses were injured. And that was a horrible accident out in Mayaka. Uh, so condolences to them. And there's a GoFundMe out there. So if you can't afford it, you know, you can find that on like the Mayaka pages and it may have made the news. It should have made the news as well. Um, see if you can help those people out there and help with the horses. They need significant veterinary care. Anyway, um, let's have some, get something good. All right, so one good thing that has happened since my last video is that the new board has been sworn in and now we have a new majority and some good things have been happening since the election. Uh, Jason Bearden uh, has seen the light and has uh, tried to start undoing some of the damage of the stuff that had gone on in the prior board. And it was kind of refreshing to see him move with such alacrity. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, Bearden may be an interesting partner in this coming next two years. Unlike some of the others, I think that he has seen where things are going. And we'll figure that out. Anyway, so the new board was sworn in and immediately there was a land use meeting right after, which was kind of unfair because there were some things there that the new, the new board members hadn't gotten a chance to review. And so they were put off until December 10th, which is next week as of this recording. And speaking of next week, it's time to look at the agenda because the agenda dropped yesterday on Monday the 2nd. So here it is. In this video, we're also going to go over how to find the agenda. And the first thing you want to do is go to the Manatee County page, mymanatee.org. And this is not the best design website. I could think of a few things that would be more helpful right away. But anyway, we've got this big hero image and a search box. Well, can't beat that really. Actually, you can. But I know where we're going. So first thing you're going to do is go look at government. And you want to go to the Board of County Commissioners, the BCC meetings and agendas will take you straight to the page that has the meetings and agendas. What you want to do is click the View Upcoming Agendas button. And I've got this one right here. Um, I actually have the tab open. So I'm going to open it up and so make it a little bit bigger so you can see. But yes, so we fought for this. You can call in to these meetings and be aware of how to call in. I have a tutorial as to what you need to know for calling in because you could get you could screw that up actually and not get heard so pay attention so you can submit written comments by December 6th at 2 p.m. you can always write to your county commissioners um, there's a page uh, here for the on um, for the BC for the board of county commissioners that you can actually go and find all of them their email addresses but yeah, you can individually find them, click them. And then there's also a, there was also a email, oh, contact your commissioner, you can do that. Um, and you can email all the commissioners. Uh, you, that will pop open Outlook or whatever mail application you use. If you don't use a web-based browser for email, that will do it for you. But all of their emails are right here. So you could email them. You can submit public comment uh, in the public comments page. So I'm going to go back to here um, underneath the BCC meetings and agendas. There's submit public comment. You can do that here. Click that, put in the date in, uh, and for the form. Here's the form is loading. Put in your name, your email, what meeting it's for. The you know, Put in the date like December 10th, uh, 2024 regular meeting and the agenda item. So speaking of which, we're going to go to the agenda right now, which we have open. And at the top here is our information for calling in. I will be calling in because I will not be present. Okay, so then there's the pro forma stuff, call to order, you know, invocation, the pledge, certain annou announcements. 
Um, at this point, the commissioners can pull some items from the consent agenda. And now understand the consent agenda is stuff that they're just going to agree upon and there's not going to be any discussion about it. You know, it will get passed no matter what you do. Um, so if you want something pulled from the agenda, contact your county commissioner and ask them to pull it from the agenda. Okay. And there's citizen comments for future agenda items. It's for stuff that's not on the agenda today. Like, oh, I don't know, the Lena Road property or the Hurricane Debbie uh, report you know, for the supposed in investigation that they promised us that they were supposed to have. You know, stuff like that you would want to put on the future agenda items and bring it back to their attention. Um, citizen comments for the consent agenda. To, in order to comment here, you will need to have read the consent agenda. And there's some stuff in here that people might not be happy with. Oh, uh, like, oh, uh, there's a bunch of, a couple of settlements in here for a personal injury. Uh, but then number five. The interesting one, legal expenses incurred by James Satcher in defending a case, which is actually a public records case, because as some people may not be aware, most people are probably not aware, Manatee County's officials have been really bad at maintaining their public records, or they've been keeping them on their personal devices and not producing them. They're not <laughs> they're very bad at conducting business only on official devices and preserving those records. So there was a lawsuit over that, and it also included James Satcher. And I'm gonna click on that right now, just so you can see how this works. So I clicked on this, and the details of the items are over here on the right-hand side. So there, every item here has a link, and there are linked documents. So if there's, even if there's just one page, you know, for the commissioner comments of something that they want to put forward, there's some linked document to every item here on the agenda. And so the details for the approval of the legal fees is here. You can read it, read the complaints and the memo from our county's legal department and the county attorney, and you can see what they think and why they're going to pay it. Okay. Uh, if you don't want them to pay it, speak up and let them know that you do not want them to pay it. There's also moving on. Okay, so there's stuff here for uh, the Affordable Housing Advisory Committee Incentive Review and the Children's Services Annual Report and Plan. So again, here's it. There's a Affordable Housing Advisory Committee. You see the documents over here, their report, the Children's Services Annual Report and their plan, and the Visitor Convention and Visitors Bureau. So you can see all everything right here. There's interlocal agreements here regarding collection of impact fees. And then there's a lot of stuff here, the budget, financial management stuff, uh, street sweeping, oils and lubricants, maintenance. You know, a lot of the stuff is not really controversial. So like you can understand why they are in the consent agenda. Okay. What you want to do is watch for stuff that doesn't belong in the consent agenda. Okay. All right. Human resources, a stop loss policy for the self-insured plan. This is an insurance thing. Uh, natural resources. Okay. Uh, the Restore Act, you know, uh, Transportation District 1 for Public Education, Property Management, that's the one area that you really want to look at as well. Okay, so there's warranty deeds, so it looks like there's uh, some, a lot of small land uh, transactions when they're, when people are turning over land to the county or selling land to the county. Okay, uh, okay, so look at these, look at these, Public Safety drug-free manatee in-kind donations agreement, public works. Okay, okay, let's see. So there's a public transportation grant. It's a bunch of stuff. Authorization to classify, classify certain equipment as surplus. Okay, and there's stuff here. Sports and leisure, branding for Premier Sports, Campus North and South, and the landfill tipping we favor. The fee we favor fee waiver uh, for the Manatee County Fair. So these are items, and they'll and if nobody pulls anything for discussion, they will not be discussed, and they will just be approved as part of the consent agenda. Then they'll go through any items that get pulled, and there are some public hearings scheduled. There's only one actually um, from Community and Veterans Services. So an annual performance and evaluation report to HUD, the Housing and, and Urban Development Department. And then there's regular stuff from the administrator, some appointments, 
the 68 is the revised county commissioner meeting schedule for 2025. Um, if you are watching or listening to the last meeting at the land use meeting, um, Commissioner Cruz brought up the idea of only meeting twice a month, which is great for them, but that means that if you want to be active and listening, you now have got to listen for four, five, six hours a day, twice a month. And, you know, we'll see what happens there, but I don't know. Anyway, I don't care. I'm not really offended by the idea of them only meeting for two to four hours a day, because if I'm at work, why do I want to spend eight hours listening to the county? I really don't. Yeah. But anyway, this is what it is. And uh, so that's what number 68 is. And then there are some other things here. There are some reports being given. The, the administrator is going to give a legislative priority and appropriations request preparation report. Because every year, um, Manatee County sends a delegation to the commissioners, and they go up and to Washington, and they try and see what kind of federal money they can get for Manatee County. So this will be interesting to see. Um, and I'm going to click on that really quickly. Um, there is one supporting document. See, this is what I was talking about. And so the brief, the slide packet is not here, but you get an idea about what is going to happen here because they're going to provide some report about what they're doing for preparation for the federal, state and federal legislative priorities and appropriation requests. Okay, they're going to figure out what projects we need to ask money for and prioritize them. Okay, and then financial management is uh, a report about the the in approval of the infrastructure sales tax oversight committee annual report. Then there's citizen comments. If they run out of time for the future agenda items in the morning, you get the afternoon. And then there's agenda items. So Commissioner Ballard wants to do a future land purchase. I didn't see anything about that. And this document is does not specify what land purchase she's talking about. So I'm kind of curious as to what exactly that is. I wish that it was in here, but we have to watch the agenda now to see updates to the documentation to see if it's going to be more specific. Okay, um, Commissioner Ron has something about uh, one-stop housing redevelopment and revitalization at 1478 45th Avenue Circle West. Commissioner Sadiq is talking about the surplus of the old city hall property, and then they'll be electing officers for the 2025 calendar year. County attorney will offer comments. The administrator will offer comments. There will be commissioner comments and they'll adjourn. So yeah, so there's a lot of stuff in here and there's some important things in here that are actually, that should be in here, but they are not. Uh, one thing would be like, oh, the kennels for the dogs. That's not in here. And that's been something that people have been agitating about for a long time. Uh, in fact, um, uh, David Daniels, God bless him. He wrote this awesome, article that details everything that's going wrong with the uh, kennels here. Here it is. Um, Charlie Bishop is resp responsible for new kennel delays. This is at the BradentonTimes.com. Uh, the link is uh, from the main page. But anyway, you can see it. Um, he, he explains the problem with the kennels because it's been years now and we still haven't gotten our volunteers and the dogs out of the horrible facility up in Palmetto. And they were supposed to build some you know, kind of field expedient kennels, but they have not been done for years now. And the process, the project is just, I don't know, it's its in a kind of limbo that is really unreasonable given the clear direction from the board to get it done. So something is wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Um, I have a feeling I know what's wrong. I get the feeling that somebody, I don't know who, but you know, someone powerful, wealthy, and who has Charlie Bishop on speed dial does not want our kennels to go on. I think they want to actually downsize animal services in some way or get rid of it in, in its entirety, but, um, and maybe make our kennels back, our uh, shelters back into kill shelters. Uh, that way they kill the animals. I mean, gosh, I mean, who hates animals that much? That you would want to kill them, you know, when you know when you, all people have to do is spay and neuter their pets. Uh, I don't know. It's it's really you know, outrageous. But this item, this item has not been properly addressed for years now, and people need to continue to speak up, and not just the same people. It shouldn't always just be David Daniels, Dina Sabo, and you know the other people that you would see normally speaking up for the animals. The other former volunteers um, at the, at the uh, 
county meetings. So write your commissioners about the animals because this is just crazy. You know, the dog should have been in a decent kennel in these new kennels for years ago, years ago. There's no reason why it is he languishing here at the end of 2024. Anyway, so that's what's going on here. Um, one other thing is that Commissioner Cruz is actually um, meeting, uh, oops, Commissioner. He's, he's having his town halls again. So I'm putting the town halls back on the radar. Uh, where is it? Good. Okay, he did that every Thanksgiving. Where is his thing? Uh, maybe it's on his Facebook. Yeah, it's probably on his Facebook. But anyway, the, the town hall is December 18th at 6.30 at Braden River Library. So and I wish he had had the article about it, but it's just Thanksgiving. But let's see, does he have it here? Blah, oh, yes, here it is, yes. So his December town hall is here, December 18th at 6 o'clock at Braden River Library. If you have any issues that you want to address with Commissioner Cruz, that is the time to do it. I plan to be there and plan to be filming, so that should be a resumption of some of our normal activities here. Um, I will be looking out for town halls from the other commissioners. So stay tuned and stay on this channel to stay informed. That's it for now. Thank you for listening and thank you for subscribing. Tell your friends. I've got a new Facebook page actually. Um, hang on a second. I'm going to get my Facebook page right up right here. Um, one second. Okay, so I put Manatee Local on Facebook. <laughs> so you can search Facebook for Manatee Local and I'll put new videos out here if that makes it easier to share. So you can like it, follow it, and see what comes up whenever I post a new video. And I've only got one post up here right now. It's just the kind of like overview about what the channel's about on YouTube. But I'm not going to put the rest of the old videos out on the channel I may do some select items uh, if uh, something comes up in the future. Um, I do have some videos that I had meant to do that I did not get to finish doing, like Michael Barfield's presentation about how to do public records requests. Um, but yeah, but any new videos are going to be posted here, you know, and it might be an easier way to follow along. So like that, and um, encourage your friends to like it to stay informed. And that's it. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next time.